Hi, let's start with selecting the Bezier tool. Next I'm going to click and hold down the control key to create straight lines. Click here, then click here to close the path. Then I'm going to select this tool, grab the segment and adjust it. Then click on this node and use this node type. Now next I'm going to select the fill and stroke tool. Let's remove the stroke, apply a fill of a red color. Next control D to duplicate it. Use this option to flip it. Then holding down the shift key select this part. Go to the align and distribute tool and use this option. Now with both parts selected go to path union. And we have our heart. Now I can adjust the color if I want to. Next control D to duplicate this and I'm going to use filters to apply different effects. Let's start with this one. You see how the heart looks now. Again control D to duplicate this. We can use this option here and you see the effect now. Let's undo this and duplicate this one. We can also change the color if you want to, to something else. I'll use Control D to duplicate this and also remove filters. Actually, let's undo this and put this one here. This is also a nice effect. And uh, I duplicated that one. Move it over here and remove the filters. And also here we can change the color to a little bit brighter one. Now select this one and go to filters again, textures, and let's use this one. You see the effect that we have here. Control D to duplicate this. Again, I'm going to remove the filter. I duplicated this one more time. And in this one, let's apply another texture. This one, you see how this looks. And this one, let's use one of the distorts, lapping. And I'm going to apply it one more time to increase the effect. Another thing we can do is control D to duplicate this and I'm going to scale down the duplicate holding down the shift and the control key and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to do this one more time, duplicate it, scale it down and change the color. So you see how easy it is to create these hearts with different effects. You can download this graphic from the first link in the description for free or you can visit the Facebook page and see it in high quality. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful. Subscribe, like the video. That's it for now.